Do not be adjusting your televisions. This is radio. Four, three, two, one, zero. Circling 22,000 miles above the Earth, the captain and crew of a satellite reclamation platform, the SRP Titan, stand ready for action. Welcome to Titan FM. I am Ensign Gary Vanderslam, and I am being forced to read this. Back by popular demand, Another Titan FM Christmas special, so be snuggling up with your sweetie and sip some eggnogs as we regale you with a tale of the three wise guys, or the babe from the Bethlehem. Our story begins with his black sedan heading west on a dark desert highway. Feels like I've been driving forever. Where are we? How should I know? What kind of directions are these? Follow yonder star. Who do I look like? Peter Pan? <laughs> Good one, Mel. Yeah, I still got it. Three wise guys following a bright and shining star. Stop me if you've heard this once before. Hey, what are we stopping for? The boss told me to call him when we found out where that star was pointing. Look at it, shining down in that sleepy little town. It looks like something out of a Christmas card. Yeah. 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 <coughs> boss, it's me, Baltasar. We found what you were looking for. Yeah. We're looking at it right now. All right, I'll tell the boys. Well, what did he say? He told us to sit tight. He's going to come out and handle this personal one. I don't like where this is heading. Down in sleepy little Christmas card town, a young couple seeks lodging for the night. You should stay in with the car. You're in no condition to be traipsing around the streets of a strange town. You see here, Joseph. I'm not having this jeasily baby here on the side of the road. I want a roof over me head and a bed under me arse before I even begin to think about popping this little one out of me belly. Look! It's a hairy-headed hippie. He's probably building a bong. Go on over and talk to him. Maybe he'll put us up for the night. Joseph, do this. Joseph, do that. All they've been doing is running and fetching. And what for? It isn't even my child. Well, no more, you hear me? Do you hear me, woman? You're not the boss of me. Y'all do as I tell you or I'll break my foot off in your arse. Stupid. Do what I want to do. Merry Christmas, my friend. Sweet lift and suffering. You're St. Francis of Assisi. Mar! It's not a hairy headed hippie! It's St. Francis of Assisi! How can you tell it's St. Francis of Assisi? Well, he's wearing a burlap sack, he's surrounded by all kinds of animals, and look at that! He just finished building a nativity scene! <sighs> Sweet baby Jesus on the cross! I can't believe my eyes! You're St. Francis of Assisi! Y yes, I, I get that a lot. I... I have a place around the corner and you're welcome to warm yourselves by my fire. <laughs> I'll warm myself by your fire. Wait! What?! Mary! It's St. Francis Six talking you! Meanwhile on the outskirts of town. Don Pietro, you didn't have to come all the way out here. We could have handled this for you. Baltazar! You don't presume to tell me my business. Now, while the light from yonder star illuminates the town before us, let us do what has to be done. Come on, Gaspar. I hate this. Every year it's the same thing. Yeah, things are gonna get loud. Back at humble dwelling in St. Francis of Assisi. This is the right cozy little place you got here, St. Francis. Is it just an old living here? Yes, is there a 
Mrs. St. Francis running around? With the exception of all of God's creatures, mine is a solitary existence. A solitary existence? Do you hear that, Joe? Ain't that romantic? Hi, St. Francis. I got your eyes. I see what you're doing. Where's my girl? Don't you be getting no ideas, you see? There's no need for violence. Saint or no saint, you can't be talking to me like that. How would you like it if I broke my water all over your nice hardwood floor? Uh, I, I wouldn't? You're darn right you wouldn't. My sweet little lover's getting ready to calf, and you're giving her the third degree. You're lucky I don't mop the floor with you. It'd be the least I could do, and I always do the least I can do. Ain't that right, ma'am? It's true. Now, you will just concentrate on your lady parts and get to having that baby. I'm going to go through St. Francis's cupboard and see if he's got any liquor. You two seem to have everything well in hand, so I'll just step out the back door. And, and feed the animals. Open up! We know you're in there! Joe! Get your head out of the cupboard and answer the jeezily door! There she goes again. Always telling me what to do. Well, what is it? What do you fellas want? Somebody punched this man in the head. Oh! oh! I think I hit him too hard. Nah, man. Look at him. He's still twitching. Bart, it's all. You and the boys to take a look around. I think I found something. Whew. Whew. Don't just stand there gawking, you big loaf of bread. Haven't you ever seen a lady give birth before? Hey, boss, what am I supposed to do if I find a lady who's about to have a baby? What are you talking about? Well, would you look at that? She's about to give birth. Hey, I saw this on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> Tell the boys to boil some water and tear up some bed sheets. We got a baby to deliver. <laughs> Hi, St. Francis. Um, Melkor, Gaspar, uh, what are you doing in my kitchen? We're, We're boiling water. water. Yes, I, I can see that. Oh, hi, St. Francis. Good to see you again. Balthazar, why are you tearing up my bed sheets? There's a lady in there about to give birth. We're helping. You're, you're doing a bang up job. Don't don't let me stop. I'll be outside feeding the animals. Outside. Merry Christmas, Saint Francis. Is Saint Francis out there? You tell him to get his ass in here. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, kid. Uh, you might want to step over the guy on the floor. Uh, if he stops twitching, give him a boot. That'll get him going again. Yeah! 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 Whew. Whew. Sweet, merciful mother of God. Can't you see I'm having a baby here? Give me some drugs! You took your sweet time. Me and the boys come all this way to see you. And we found this little cutie. What's your name, dear? Whew, Mary. We found Mary going into labor on your living room floor. <laughs> she, uh, she followed me home? Ain't that always the way with you? It was being around this time that young Joseph woke up and launched himself at the Don Pietro. Hey, old man, you had the best be a doctor to be having your hands so close to Mary's female parts. Joey, the baby's coming and they won't give me any jizzly drugs! Well, somebody punch on this guy in the head! Oh, jeez. I did it again. Nah, he's gonna be just fine. Look at the way his legs are twitching. I bet you he's dreaming he's a dog. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. All right, Mary. Now's the time of the push. I am pushing! Oh! oh. It is time to do what we came here to do. I really wish you wouldn't. We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas!
Man, where I am? <laughs> you always find me. I always sing that song. I made a promise to your dear departed mother. I could do no less. I would expect no less of you, father. Oh. Very well. I will see you next Christmas. Balthazar, Mercio, Gaspar, in the time of the goat. Bye, St. Francis. See you next year. See you, lady with the baby. Ah, look at the little nipper. He sure is cute, ain't he? I'm sorry for punching your friend in the head. Twice. Uh, okay. I'm sorry for punching your friend in the head. I'm sorry for punching your friend in the head. Oh, I'm aching, head. What did I miss? Oh, nothing much. St. Francis' father stopped by and helped me deliver the baby. Ah, jeezly. Looking at this little fella's smiling face almost makes it worth getting punched in the head. Twice. All right. Looking at this little fella's smiling face almost makes it worth getting punched in the head. Looking at this little fella's smiling face makes it almost getting worth punched in the head. <sighs> hey, where'd St. Francis go? He must have slipped away before we had a chance to tank him. The way he did that reminds me of that old TV show. The one where the dog runs around saving everyone. You mean the littlest hobo? No, I think it was called the dog who runs around saving everyone. Yeah. And so, gentle listener, we bid you adieu. As our hero, St. Francis of Assisi, roams from town to town, helping everyone he meets. Every stops he makes, he makes a new friend. He can't stay for long, just turn around, he's gone again. Voices performed in this episode of Titan FM are... Gordon Cobb, Bill McFadden, Robin Ward, Corin McFadden, Jennifer McKinnon, Tyler, Jeremiah, Zachary Bertrand, and recorded by... Oh.